And then what happened? Uh, I don't know. Come on, how many times are you gonna make me say it? Say what? I was hungry, so I went to the kitchen looking, looking for something to eat. So. And while I was digging through the fridge, Bell suddenly came up and attacked me. Arienai. You ate my custard. No, I didn't eat your custard, Bell. I told you I was just holding it in the, in my hand. That's all. Shingar. Liar! You were eating it. I could tell. The lid was off. Well, well, don't look at me. I was. It was probably op open to begin with. I made sure to write my name on it, and you still ate it. Huh? Eh? You wrote your name? Oh. Oh yes, it said. Property of Bizzlebub, you, you eat it, you die. <laughs> oh, really? I, I never noticed. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember. We, <laughs> I remember that Mamon, um, Mamon found like the custard in the fridge, and it says it belongs to Bizzlebub. So, um, it did it. It it did wrote uh its proper property of Bizzlebub or something. That was my custard. You never gave up, don't you? But whatever, it doesn't have nothing to do with me anyway, cause Anna is the one who ate it. Um. Putting the blame on me, huh? I don't know. What? Hey, are you trying to push me? Push the blame onto me now? You. Well, you did tell. You did tell me to eat it. Ah. Uh. I knew you were good. I knew you were the behind this before. Uh, even, even. Yeah, what, what the heck? <laughs> I, I can't speak. Um, <clears throat> I knew you were th the one behind this before Anna even said anything, Mamon. Eh. Now, hold on a sec second here. You don't trust your older brother e even a little, little, do you? I mean, I knew you didn't, but still. <sighs> so let me get this straight. Mamon was hungry, so he went rummaging for for food in the kitchen late at night, and he dragged Anna along with him. That's when he found Bell's custard. Yare, yare. Then he talked Anna into eating the custard, and then and when Bell saw what ha what had happened, he was so angry that he lost control of himself and went on on a rampage. The kitchen ended up getting destroyed along with Anna's room, which was on the opposite side of the wall from it. All because of your little prank? Anna? Well, I guess th that pretty much sums it up, yeah. Ha. My custard. <laughs> now listen, and listen well. First, first of all, you three. I can't tell this is gonna be this is gonna take forever forever. It's not fair, I'm I'm the victim here. Hmm? Did you two just say something? Huh? What? No, nothing. <laughs> <sighs> to begin with, your recklessness has impact impacted not just Diablo but also also who? Three hours later. <sighs> so now that we've got this, we've got that straight. I expect each of you to learn something from all this. <sighs> well, that took forever. <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs>
And it seems you won't be able to use your room for some time, you know, since it lacks a, a wall now. Oh. For some for some time being, I want you to stay in Belt's room. Why in his room? Can I stay in in Levi's room instead? No, just a second. Why are you putting Anna in this in his room? I mean, there's enough space in my room, isn't there? Mother. This is a trivial matter, Mamon. Don't get jealous over it. It shows immaturity. Oh, jealous? Who are you calling jealous? As if I'd be jealous. Anyway, Anna has a pack with me. Your pack is irrelevant. Also, if I'm not mistaken, there's, there's an extra bed in Belle's room. Oh gosh. <laughs> Do you understand, Belle? This, is, this isn't a request. Yeah, I understand. This sucks. <laughs> Ooh, nice room you got here. So, this is my room. There are two beds. Um, which one do I, do I pick? The red one or the purple one? Uh, I'll pick the left. That's my bed. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, fine, I'll take the right. Don't use the bed on the right, I'll sleep on the couch. What? But I don't want to be alone. <laughs> Why? Wh wh why just... The bed us The bed on the right is my... Twin brothers. Oh. His name is Belfagor. He's in the human world right now. As an exchange student. You've got a twin brother? <laughs> oh, okay. I remember now. <laughs> the, the other demon that we saw in the attic. That's that's him. Now I remember his name. Fuck. <laughs> oh god. Huh. Uh Belfi had a failing out with Lucifer, so he was chosen to be an exchange student. So Belfi didn't want to go, but he was forced. So don't mention his name in front of Lucifer. I want to know more about Belfi. Yeah. Even though we're twins, all that all that means is that our father made us at the same time. It's not like we're alike in any way. Still, Belfi and I are always get al got along. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Used to have a little sister, little Lilith. Oh, fuck, <laughs> Lilith. Um, so the three of us were always together, me, Belfie, and Lilith. But that was a long time ago now. I want to know more about Lilith. I don't feel like talking about her right now. Huh. Why? When Belfi returns to the Devil Dome, you'll go back to the human world. Human world? What? So, the ending. The ending of the uh, game, I guess. Which means you two are never gonna meet each other. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, I don't want to go back. Please don't make me go back. And if you want to do that, you can tell them you came here and spoke with me. Whatever you do, don't mention that. Hmm. Let's see. You should probably start with Bezel Bob. Uh, yes, he'd be the 
best choice. You need to get close to him. Huh? What? What are you saying? Why are you staring at me like that? Uh, nothing. I told you didn't. I, I told you didn't I? Belfie and I are twins, but we don't look alike. So like, uh, fraternal twins, I guess. Um, I'd like to see a picture of both of course face, please. Wagatta. You know the portrait hole, right? I'm pretty sure there's a picture of him there. See, right here, that's Belfi. There can be no doubt it's him. It would seem that the uh, occupant of the attic room is none other than Belfagor himself. Making up is hard to do. Mm. Ah, it's you. Um, hi Belfi. Yes, I know all about you now. So how did it go? I trust you haven't forgotten what I what I told you. Have you managed to gain Bill 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 Beezlebub's trust up somewhat? Are you Belfagor? Oh, uh, so you've already figured figured me out, haven't you? Oh wait, I said haven't you? <laughs> it. Wait, oh, so you've already figured me out, have you? Uh, well, you're you're no fun at all. That's right. I'm Belfagor, Avatar of Sloth. I can tell that. <laughs> and I'm the seventh demon living here in this building. I knew it. Don't blame me. Blame yourself for being stupid enough to be fooled by me. <laughs> oh god, I, I was... I am tricked by a demon. Um, did Bell actually tell you about me? Well, that alone suggests that he trusts you. He and my but He and my, uh, other brothers all believe that I was forced to go to the human world as an exchange student, don't they? <laughs> I'd love to see the look on their faces if they found out that Lucifer was actually keeping me up here in this filthy attic. Hmm. But now you know the truth, don't you? I lied to you, sure, but Lucifer did lock me up here. That's the truth. Why don't you go... Why don't you get your brothers to help you? If that were possible, I would have done it. I would have done it long ago. Think about it. If my other brothers learned about my current situation, what do you think they'd do? I'm sure they'd fly me into a fit of rage and com and confront uh, Lucifer about it. But if that happened, it wouldn't be any. Ordinary families squabble. What is squabble? Uh, no, it might be. It might very well devolve into a war that would en envelop the entire devil dome. It first came. It first came to worse. Uh, even the human world wouldn't be spared it, its its effects. I'd like to find a peaceful res resolution to all this for uh, Lucifer, for the Devil Dome, and for the human world as well. If you insist on sending an exchange to the, to the human world, I'll go instead. So you could let Belfi come back t here to the Devil Dome? Yeah. No. But... You, un you understand Diabolo's dream, don't you? Ah. For angels, demons, and humans to recognize, accept, and did I say accept? <laughs> accept and, and uh, respect one another, and to create a new world together. Oh. Exactly. And the first step toward that goal is to is is this uh, exchange 
ex exchange program. But Belfagor opposed it. <laughs> I will eliminate anyone who tries to stand in the way of the Diabolus dream, no matter who they might be. Even if it's my own brother. God. Even if it's me. Sorry. <laughs> uh. Well, it's not that I don't understand how you feel. <laughs> Belfi is, is your twin brother, and you were especially close to him. So, with that said, answer me this Who would you choose to side with, Belfagor or me? I. Um. Huh? So, you can't manage to answer, eh? That. That's just like Bell. Nanda. What? Don't look at me like that. You were it, it, you were eavesdropping on them too. You trying to tell to tell me that it's okay for you to do it, but not me. If we stay here too long, eventually Lucifer is gonna find us. Come on, let's head let's head over that way. Huh? Oh God. Um. Huh, so Bell told you about Bel Belfi and Lilith, di did he? <laughs> I've gotta say, getting Bell to tell you about Belfi and Lilith, for a human, you've done so good. I gotta hand it to you. Oh. Anyway, I had to explain this. So, we were all actually angels up in the celestial realm before we fell from grace, to, so to speak. Back then, Lucifer was especially fond of Bel Belfi and Lilith. He loved those three. But things changed after we ended up in the Devil Dome. Nanda. Lucifer is such a super serious guy and all, so... After pledging loyalty to Lord Diavolo, he, he always put Diavolo's desires from... Desires first from that point on, no matter what. He does it even when it's something he doesn't agree with, you know? I mean, seriously, would it kill him to be a little, to be a little flexible sometimes? But anyway, that, that's what brought this on. When Lord Diavolo suggested this exchange program thing and Belfi opposed it, Lucifer wouldn't listen to a thing Belfi said. He just sent him straight to the human world, and that's it. And that's, and that was that. I mean, I'm not saying that Belfi wouldn't would have convinced him of anything, even if he'd take the time to listen. But still, if the two of them would would have talked it out, uh, I can't help but think, but help thinking things would wouldn't turn out different. Oh. oh, did you hear that? I just said, said something kind of awesome there, didn't I? <laughs> it's not often I do that. Where to go me? Man, I'm amazing. Yes, you are. Fuck. Um, hey, come on. I, I think I deserve some praise here. And while you're at it, and while you're at it, how about you show a little... Reverence too. Hmm. Personally, I'd like to be able to have to have a proper face to face with face to face stuff with Lucifer. Sure, he may have had a falling out, but really, it was only a, a little misunderstanding. If I could just talk to him, he'd realize that I was he he would realize that was the case. I need to find some way to get out of here, find Lucifer and have a talk with him. That's all I want. Oi. Hey, come on. Are you even listening to anything I'm saying here? Don't ignore me. Sorry. So if Lucifer and Belfort ha have a talk, something might actually change. At the very least, it might, it might make Bisopo feel better it's hard it's hard on him caught between the 
the two of them like he is. <laughs> well, this certainly is unexpected. It's only been a day and you're already back. I thought it would be longer before you, re you before you return. If you ever did at all. So I take it. So I take it you've decided to help me. Mm. I have to wonder though. What was it that changed your mind? Oh God! I have to choose. You know, I am doing this for Belphegor, for Belfi, but I'm also doing this for Bell. I'm I'm like doing doing it for both of them. Uh let's see. What should I say? This one's the the best answer I think. Yeah. For Bell? I see. Well, no matter what your reason is, this works out well for me, so I'm fine with it. Now I'll say this as many times as I have to, because it's because it's important. You can't tell my you can't tell my other brothers anything about about this. They have to keep believing that I'm up in the human world as an exchange student. Yeah. Now if you got now if you got that, then go ahead and go back to your room. And actually, wait a minute. There's something important I still haven't said. Hmm. I really do appreciate your help, honestly. If you if you hadn't shown up, I would have been trapped here for who knows how long. Dom. So I want you to know I'm grateful. Thank you, Anna. Can you come out? At, can you come out now? I'm in front of. What? Why now? Okay. Luke wants to see me. Go join him, it's outside. Wow. Anna, you came, thank you. I was worried. I don't know what I'd do if someone saw me hanging out in a place like this. Uh. Do you need something? Oh. Yeah, if I didn't, I would I wouldn't have come to this den of demons. Now, I'll get right to the point. I need you to let me spend the night in your room tonight. Please, I'm begging you. A pet is a big responsibility. Just wait. And this isn't what I'm what I was talking about at all. I believe I asked you to stay in your room. Uh. So what so what are we doing here, Bizzle Bobs? Ah. Uh. Oh my god. <laughs> you're talking too loud. If you don't want the others to know you're here, you'd better keep it down. Answer the question. Huh. No one can use Anna's room right now. What? What do you what do you mean no one can use it? It's all because of that custard. Eh? The custard? Anna and I have have to share a room for now. We don't have we don't have a choice. Those were Lucifer's orders. Uh. I don't remember asking anyone to pick up a dog from the street and bring it back here not to mention one that never stops barking nah. <laughs> oh god don't compare me to a dog anyways i wasn't picked up off the street i came here of my own free will Wagatta. drink this for now and try to calm down What's this supposed to be? It's red. It better not be some sort of weird demon drink. I, I I hope it's not. Like some strange creature's blood or something. Tell me it's not. 
It's pomegranate, pomegranate juice. Hey. Lisa Bob, why are you being, why are you being nice to me? It's creeping me out. Because you, you, because you gave me a cake once. Did I? Oh, right. You were talking about that one time. When? It's nothing important, really. Uh -huh. But in recent years, I've actually been learning how to bake, how to bake cakes and party, and pastries. Pastries? I, I said pastries. Pastries and things. Um, that's really cool, I, I guess. <laughs> it's, it's nothing so impressive. I mean, I've only been doing it for about 300 years or so. I'm still, I'm still an amateur. <laughs> but yes, it's true. Michael loves sweets. And My Michael loves sweets of all kinds. So I'd like to present him with the cake I made m myself someday. That's why I'm doing it. Anyway, not not long ago, I was testing out a new cake recipe when Bell happened to walk by and he mentioned he was hung hungry, so... Just thinking, just thinking back on it makes me wish I could have some right now. I only meant for him to sample it and give give me his opinion, but he inhaled the entire thing on a single bite. He didn't even stop to taste it. Ah, uh. it was good, and I told you so back then. I told you so back then as well. He loves to eat, but his vocabulary is almost non non existent. He'd make the worst food reporter ever. Why the fuck are you here? <laughs> um This is all Simeon's fault. I wouldn't be here if if it weren't for him, he's getting way too chummy with these demons. Uh. We are angels, proud inhabitants of the celestial realm, and th and what's more, we report directly to Michael, the archangel himself. Yet because of this ex exchange program, we've been sent down here to the Devil Dome of all places. And what's more, we've, we're supposed to associate with demons. Un it's unbelievable. I mean, we're talking about demons here. Just the idea of speaking with one face to face is repulsive. Nani? Um, let, let's not forget that I'm actually a demon in myself. We go making friends with demons. If we go. M Making friends with demons, what do you think is going to happen next, huh? I'll tell you what, we'll be corrupted. Mm. I'm always warning him about this, but he ignores me. Then he just leaves to to have tea with Diavolo. He even suggested that I ask Barbados to instruct me in the finer point of baking pastries and cakes. Can you believe it? True, it said, it said that Barbados is the greatest pastry chef in all, in all the three worlds, but he's a demon. Simeon won't listen to a thing I say. I could disappear off of the face of the earth of all he cared. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if he even finds me annoying. Maybe he thinks I'm... Maybe he thinks of me like a dog. A noisy dog that never shuts up. Well, it's true that you never shut up. <laughs> nah. Well, Simeon would, would rather spend time with demons than with me. Huh. Oh, so this is just about being jealous then. I told Sim Simeon our friendship was over. But then I strolled right off the purgatory hall, 
that's our room that's our dorm so I can't go crawling back now not after I did that oh. which is why I'm asking you to let me stay here for a while even though you hate demons well what choice do I have this is the only place I could think of to go to um, I mm, let's just let him stay here I knew I could count on you you've got the heart of an angel you can stay here I do owe him for giving me that cake after all Really? I can stay? Uh. Just make sure that my brothers don't find out about you. If they knew I was I was sheltering, sheltering an angel, they'd kick me out. <laughs> they'd kick me out of the dorm. <laughs> Alright, got it. Leave it to me. I'll make sure no one ever finds out. You think I'm about to let some demons find me? I don't think so. In that case, do us all a favor and be quiet. Huh? Hey, what's the deal, Anna? Is that all you're gonna eat? If you don't have yourself a proper breakfast, you'll run out of gas before lunchtime. What? So you're will so re you're really willing to bring me back some something to eat so I can have breakfast too? That would be amazing. Thanks. Wow, you're so nice. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. I think they're gonna find out. Oh, but I can't eat any of that weird demon stuff like like fried bat monkey monkey brains. Oh my god, monkey brains. That 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 that's disgusting. That sort of stuff. Also, I hate anything tomato flavored. I can't I can't handle ketchup either. And there are some cheeses I don't like. It depends on the variety. Oh, and also... Also? Oh. Okay. You know, for an angel, Luke is... Luke is a very picky eater. Uh, um... I, um... Leave me alone, please. You really have an, you you really have a heart of of ice. You know that. Mm -hmm. The day's only just begun, and you, already you two are flirting. So cute. We're not. We weren't flirting. We were. We're not flirting. Ha. Huh. I think I've had enough for now. Magica. Just wait. <laughs> huh? Magica. You're actually gonna gonna leave food on your plate? Uneaten food? You've gotta be kidding me. I can't ever remember you doing that, and my memory goes back to at, to at, at least five thousand years. I didn't say I wasn't going to eat it. I'm going to take it back to my room and finish it here. Finish it there, that's all. Uh, Is this the end of the world? Are we about to be invaded by the by an army of angels? Um, Can you really be called the Avatar of Gluttony if you don't even finish all of of the food on your plate? If you don't have that, you're just you're just a regular demon, aren't you? Boy. You picked up you picked up a cat from the street and brought it back to your room, didn't you? That's what this is about. Well, once once you've had your fun with this animal, you need to put it back where, where you found it. Actually, it's more of a dog than a cat. Hmm? Did you say something? Nope, yeah. nothing. Considering, considering they call this place a house of lamentation, I would have expected it to be 
more impressive, but it's just big, that's all. Other than that, it's not so different from Purgatory Hall. What's what's in this room? What's in this room here? Oh. Look. Can you, you can't just leave my room whenever you you feel like it. Your brothers will find out. But everyone else is off to class right now, right? I can't stay cooked up for in that room forever. I'll go crazy. Well, what's what's up with this room here? It crammed wall to wall with books and and all of them have to do with demons. He keeps start darting around. I can't manage to catch up. Wow. The view from here is amazing is amazing. I bet you can see the entire devil dome. <laughs> I see purgatory. I, I see purgatory hall look. It that win window near the spire there is my room and a bizzle bub look huh. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> huh. so you've heard the story about lucifer and his brothers right they used to be angels as well except for satan it was long ago long long ago <laughs> So long ago that you humans couldn't even imagine how far it, how far back it was. There's something crawling in my shoulder. <laughs> anyway, let's go back. Uh... Back then, Lucifer was the strongest among and most beautiful of all the angels. He had six pure white wings and light radiate radiated from them. Now keep this between us, all right? You absolutely can't tell anyone else. To understand? Not Bizzle or any of his brothers either. Oh, no, but back then, I admired Lucifer even even more than Michael. And it wasn't just me. Other angels felt the same way. Oh, so that's why he's pride. That's why. I think everyone did. <laughs> Remember, this is our little secret, okay? What? You scared me. Bizzle Bob, I at least knock before coming in. Sure, this is your room, but right now it's this is this is my room too. Kso. We're in big trouble. You're about to find out. Huh? We're having a surprise inspe inspection now. <laughs> yep, we're dead. <laughs> we're having an, a surprise in inspection. Eh? A surprise inspection? What do you mean? Ah. Uh. I mean, exactly what I said. Lucifer shows up un unannounced and goes around checking each room to see if anyone's out past curfew. <laughs> oh. In that case, all I have to do is hide, right? Maybe under the bed or behind the curtains? Huh. Oh no, you have, you have to do way better than that. Lucifer does more than check to see if everyone's in their rooms also. He also searches the inside of the room itself. Asmodeus had a witch that he had brought back home one night in his room. She transformed, in, transformed. She transformed into a spider and hid. But Lucifer still found her. Nah. What? <laughs> Why does he have to go to such lengths? He, we didn't have anything like that in, like that at Purgatory Hall. That's because you don't have Lucifer living with you at. Purgatory Hall. He originally started doing it because Mamon kept sneaking out after curfew and coming home late, and he'd hide stacks of unpaid bills in his room so no one could find them. Hey. Mamon, that idiot. I know, right? 
There will be time to blame Mamon later. Right now, you you need to hide. Get inside the closet. What's the point of What's the point of me hiding in the closet? I mean, you said he he even found a witch that had that had transformed herself into a spider, right? But if you keep keep standing there doing nothing, he'll find you for sure. But I'll think up some excuse to keep him from looking in there. Now hurry. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god, hi. Uh hi. Uh yeah, we're both here. Yep. We're both here. Okay. Uh I'm going to have a look through your rooms to be certain everyone's in order here. But before I do, is there anything you'd like to tell me? Uh not really, no. No. Mm -mm. So I see. Bill, open up the claw. Oh my god. Yeah. There's nothing in there, but Buffy's close. <laughs> Did you hear me? Open it. Um. Oh my god. Huh? What the fuck? Looks nowhere to be seen. What? So cool. Well, it seems you really aren't hiding a puppy in here. I guess it was only a rumor then. Yeah, right, that wraps up in wraps up my in inspection. Both of you make sure to go to bed early. What the fuck happened? Look disappeared? Weird. I know I pushed him into the closet a minute ago. What's going on? Huh. Luke never did come back last night. You saw it too, Anna. Right? You saw it too, right, Anna? Yeah, yeah, we. Uh... Yeah. Uh, hi, Simeon. Um, hi. <laughs> <laughs> you two are looking after Luke, right? I hope he isn't causing you too much trouble. I'm sorry. You, I'm sorry you had to get caught up in our private squabble i tried to stop him before he could run off but look is just too quick i'm afraid mm. i'd appreciate if you could take care of him until he's ready to come back again thank you both yeah well about that <laughs> look can look can be a real handful He's still young and, and immature as angels go, and he knows little, little of the world. He tends to judge everything in life from the perspective of someone in the celestial realm using that using its logic. Mm. Though that's also one of the positive things about Luke. He's honest, genuine, and adheres to a strict set of values that he doesn't break <laughs> when the two of us were originally chosen for the exchange program in the devil dome he was extremely uh, extremely upset and uh, depressed it, it was hard for him uh. but personally i i thought that studying in the devil dome would be a good op op opportunity for luke Luke is able to come in contact with demons as well as humans, human students, human students like you, Anna. It's a chance of it's a chance for him to expand his perspective. <laughs> On top of that, it's my hope that he'll he'll be able to grow as an angel as well. I'm guessing Michael has must have felt the same way, which is why he chose Luke for this program. Though Luke himself still hasn't figured that out. Why not tell him? Yeah, why not tell him? The fuck? Yeah. I believe this is true in the human world too. But some supervisors to, like to teach the people they lead directly. To give them 
to give them the answers that they need. But other supervisors like to make sure those they lead think for themselves and have them figure things out on their own. I, I belong to the latter group. I like to sit back and watch look find find the answers of his own. Uh you're a great leader, I guess. Yeah. Thank you. Though I'm not sure if Luke would agree to would agree with you. If you find yourself un unable to put up with him anymore, go ahead and kick him out. I'm sure he'll come back to me if he has no place else has no place else to go. Well then, I'll be seeing you. In the end, neither of us was able to tell Simeon about how Luke had disappeared. Huh. We'd better track down Luke a ASAP. Kso. From the look of your face, I'm guessing he wasn't anywhere on the second floor either, huh? Although honestly, it really isn't possible to search all the second floor since my brother's room's comprised the most of it. Uh. Well, I didn't find him either. I looked all, all over first floor but didn't see him anywhere. Uh. You should try one more time and this, uh, this time you look on, this, on the first floor, I'll, I'll search on the sec. Huh? You're looking for something, aren't you? Um... No? What are, you, what are you two whispering about? Uh, n nothing? I don't... I don't know what you mean. We're not whispering. <laughs> yes, you are. And you'd better give me the truth. Or I might have to go tell Lucifer about it, about this. Um... Uh... <laughs> Walk away. Bye. Bye-bye. I guess you don't mind me if, tell, if I tell Lucifer about this then. Oh, oh no, oh no. Oh no. Uh. We're looking for a dog named... Oi, oi. So you really are hiding a, a dog in your room then? I did think it was awfully strange that you didn't finish your breakfast. Ja. I, I won't say anything to Lucifer about this, but after you've had your fun with this dog of yours, you need to get rid of it. Looks like we've managed to we managed to warn uh, one warm our way out of that somehow. Ah. We'd better find Luke fast. If someone else ends up discovering him before we do, there's a good chance we it'll spell us for this spell trouble for us. Oh. It's strange that we still haven't found him after, even after searching for all this time. If we assume he left the House of Lamentation, then did he go back to the Purgatory Hall or could he have gone somewhere else? Somewhere else? Still, we definitely did hid him in the in the closet. I know we did. 